viewers i am dr mala das sharma welcome you to my channel came philic let's start video number 81 which is the 23rd episode of chemical thermodynamics in this 23rd episode we will discuss some numerical problems based on first law of thermodynamics so <clears throat> let's start before starting the problems let's recapitulate the formula so here first one work done by the gas or work done on the gas that is work of expansion or contraction w that is equal to p delta v p is the constant pressure delta v is the change in volume in case of expansion volume increases in case of contraction volume decreases and in case of expansion this sign of this work w is negative in case of contraction it is positive because there are energies added to the system or transferred from the surrounding to the system in case of expansion energy is transferred from the system to surrounding so it is taken as negative now according to first law of thermodynamics heat exchanged at constant pressure is equal to change in internal energy plus this pressure volume work if heat is absorbed at constant pressure that will be equal to here increase in internal energy plus this work done by the gas or work of expansion but this sign is actually negative work done by the gas in case of contraction or if heat heat is released then qp will be negative and that is equal to change in internal energy and work done on the gas work done on the gas that sign is positive and this heat absorbed or heat released at constant pressure that is equal to the or this term this expression is equal to the change in enthalpy of the system enthalpy is another characteristics property of the gaseous system it gives the total energy content or heat content of the system gaseous system and this enthalpy h is equal to e that is internal energy plus p that is pressure into volume okay here internal energy is a state function pressure is a state function volume is a state function so enthalpy also is state function now at constant volume when the volume is constant delta v is p will be is equal to zero in that case this heat absorbed or heat exchanged at constant volume that will be is equal to only change in internal energy because volume changes zero at constant temperature that means so temperature is constant or isothermal process in that case change in internal energy is zero because internal energy is a function of temperature when internal energy this part is zero then heat exchange will be is equal to this pressure volume work that is done by the gas or done on the gas based on expansion or contraction now let's start the problem problem number 1 calculate the final volume of an ideal gas at 0 degree centigrade and one atmosphere pressure if it absorbs 1000 calorie of heat during reversible expansion so here temperature is constant that is 0 degree centigrade that means it is isothermal process constant pressure that is one atmosphere that pressure is constant and at this condition 1000 calorie of heat is absorbed now what is the formula of first law of thermodynamics heat absorbed qp here it is positive that will be is equal to change in internal energy and this pressure volume work done by the gas that is the 
expansion. Now, as I told you, as it is isothermal process, delta E is equal to 0. So, QP, which is equal to now this pressure volume work, that is, is equal to 1000 calorie. QP is equal to 1000 calorie means P delta V is equal to 1000 calorie. Now, it is in calorie. We have to convert it into liter atmosphere because volume we calculate in terms of liter. So, how can you calculate? You can calculate easiest method from the value of universal gas constant R. All of us know R is 2 calorie or 0 0.082 liter atmosphere or 8.3 joules etc. So, 2 calorie is equal to 0 0.082 liter atmosphere. So, 1000 calorie means how much? That is 41 liter atmosphere. So, this 41 liter atmosphere means that is QP that is P delta V. That is work of expansion. So, P delta V is equal to P, P is 1 atmosphere into delta V is equal to 41. So, what is this delta V? Delta V will be is equal to 40. 41 by 1 is 41. So, what will be the final volume? Final volume will be initial volume plus 41 liter. It is expansion. So, Initial volume V1 plus 41 liter. Second problem. Calculate the change in internal energy of the system if 300 joules heat energy is added to it and, and if the system performs 200 joules of work. So here 300 joules added to it and the system performs 200 joules, you have to calculate the change in internal energy. Now see, here, this is the formula of first law of thermodynamics. QP is equal to delta E plus W. Here, 300 energy is added. So, this QP is positive. And the system performs 200 joules. That means work of expansion, work done by the gas. So, this sign will take it as negative. So, delta E is equal to plus QP minus W. This energy added or absorbed minus W. During work of expansion, energy transferred from the system to surrounding. So, delta E will be equal to QP is 300 minus work of expansion that is the work done by the system. How much? 200 minus 200. So, 100 joules. So, delta E is equal to 100 joules. It is the, it is the change in internal energy. Now, problem number 3. Determine the change in internal energy of the system if 700 joules of heat energy were removed from it and if 400 joules of work done on the system. Now heat is removed and work is done on the system. So this is the first law of thermodynamics. QP is equal to delta E plus W and heat is removed. So this sign will be negative. And work done on the system, so this will be positive. W will be positive side. Now we'll see. So delta E will be minus QP, energy is removed, plus W, work done on the system. So change in internal energy, minus QP is how much? 700 joules, so minus 700. And work done on the system is 400, so plus 400. So, here it is change in internal energies minus 300 joules. So, decrease in internal energies minus 300 joules. So, this is all about the three problems on based on first law thermodynamics. Thank you.